Shalom, shalom, Mishpaka. I pray all is well with each and every one of you. Um, I pray that Yah continues to lead and guide you in all um, that you are going through, all of your endeavors, that He continues to order your steps. Um, I just came on here because as I was doing my morning reading, um, the word just hit me. And I want to just ask each person as y'all listen to this to really seek Yah that you know as the word says whether you be in the faith or not um, I was reading Genesis chapter 19 and I'm going to just give you a brief background before I go to the verse but you know about Sodom and Gomorrah and we talk about it in the last days it's going to be like the days of Noah and it's going to also be like the days of Sodom and Gomorrah and we know that Noah had to get on the ark and shut the door and as I was reading Genesis 19 on this booker you know the Malachim the angels pulled in a lot and shut the door and the wickedness in Sodom and Gomorrah was so great that they were trying to sleep with these Malachim and they were ordering Lot to give them the Malachim. And Lot's like, no, I'll give you my daughters. And they didn't want the daughters, they wanted the Malachim. And everyone focuses on the, you know, the homosexuality. But it's like when your desires are so against you, yeah, and you're not focused on him, you're pressing to try to do wickedness in his sight, almost like a mocking to him, to the point where they were gonna take a lot and say, I'm gonna do worse to you than, than to the Malachim, where the Malachim had to bring Lot in. And I'm gonna read that verse, Genesis chapter 19. And then it's verse, um, I'm going to start at verse 9. And it says, And they said, Stand back. And they said again, This one fellow came in to sojourn, and he will needs be a judge. Now we will deal worse with thee than with them. And they pressed sore upon the man, even lie, and came near to break the door. But the men put forth their hand, which is the men they said with Malachim, put forth their hand and pulled Lot into the house to them and shut to the door and they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness both small and great so that they worried themselves to find the door and that's the word right there have you been smoten with blindness in this season where you are wearying yourself to find the door of Yahushua. Because many cannot find that door. And that's not because of Hasatan, that's because of Yahuwah. And we have to know that without Yahushua, if we don't die to our own desires, if we don't choose to surrender to Yahushua, we will be smote with blindness. Our own wickedness will get us turned over to wicked paths where we can't find the door, where we can't make it to safety. And then this goes into Noah, you know, how he had to get in the ark and shut the door. It, they both go together, but that just hit me. I Ruach so strong. And I knew I had to come on here because it's like, this ain't the time to grow into wickedness because you might be turned over to that. So they were already in full-blown wickedness where the judgment came up to the nostrils of Yah. Where Yah spoke to Abraham and said, you know, I am going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And, you know, because Abraham knew his nephew Lot was there, he petitioned Yah. Like, if there's 50 righteous, will you destroy the city? If there's 45 righteous, will you destroy the city? And, and he went all the way down to, if there's 10 righteous, will you destroy the city? And Yah told him, no, I will not. But they going to come see the judge. Like, they going to look at this city for themselves. So they went and they looked at that city. Why they look and they, the men are trying to rape them. So judgment has fully come. Hallelujah. And then so if we're not careful, 
we could be so caught up in our wickedness where Yah's looking. He says he's examining. Is there any righteous out here? And even then, Lot was spared because Yah knew why Abraham was asking. And that's why the word says the righteous scarcely make it. That's Lot. He scarcely made it out. While Abraham, the Kodashim, was sitting with Yahuwah. But if you are in wickedness in this season, don't like be filled with pride. Don't allow yourself to be filled with pride. Fast and pray and petition the Father for his mercy. That we won't you won't be turned over to that blindness and can't get out. And then as before I even read this chapter, I was thinking about it. But when I read it, I'm like, wow, it's just big confirmation. Go to Genesis 6 and 5. It says, And Yahuwah saw the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. That's the time of Noah, but it's also the time of Sodom and Gomorrah. And Enoch, Hanak, 89, 115 says, Moreover, also the sheep were blind and could not see, as were the shepherds likewise. Judges 21 and 25 says, In those days there was no king in Yashrael. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. Proverbs 30 and 12 says, There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes, and yet it is not washed from their filthiness. Yahshayahu, Isaiah 5.21 says, Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Kepha Shani, first, second Peter 1 Peter 1.5-8 says, And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience Kudasha, holiness, and a holiness or set apartness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, love. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of Adoni Yahusha HaMashiach. Romans 11, 7 says, When then Yashrael has not obtained that which he seeks for, but the election has obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Yehukanan 941 says, Yahusha said unto them, If you were blind, you should have no sin. But now you say, We see, therefore your He says, Now we say, We see, therefore your sin remains. So today I just, you know, we are blind. We need Yahusha. Let us not be haughty in our own righteousness let us not be haughty in what we think we know to do right but let us supplicate yahusha and let him know that we are blind without him we we can't make it without his divine direction because if we think we can see but we really can't see and we're leading people astray because there's no humbleness there's no there's no um submitting yourself to Yahusha to lead there's no yoking yourself so we're caught up in our own devices saying that we can see but we can, obviously clearly we can't see because if we could see like we should then we would see the remnant rising up and delivering Yah's people but a lot of people saying I can see but I'm leading people astray and then when we say we can see, but yeah, it's like you really can't see. But since you said that I am going to hold you, your sin remains. But if you said you couldn't see, you wouldn't be accountable because you would be ignorant. But yeah, it's worse as many have eyes, but they see not. Ears, but they hear not. We must remain humble before Yahusha. We must clean ourselves or we can't clean ourselves let me correct that we must seek Yahusha to purge us and purify us because if he don't purge us and purify us our sin will remain and not only that we will be turned over to our own wickedness we will be turned over to all unrighteousness
they will be weary trying to find the door. And I know that for me, I don't want to grow weary trying to find the door. I want to know that I am in the door and in its safety. So just say la on that, Mishpaka. I love each and one, every one of you. I pray y'all have a beautiful, productive day in Yahusha. No matter what you're going through, submit your way to him. Let him order your steps. He will deliver you in times of trouble if you hope in him. Much shalom.